start of another week, start of another video, start of another project. Let me go and show you around while Jason struggles with some 60 kg Libby batteries. Yes, it's another Libby system. So on this house, we are having 16 JA435 bifacial panels on the roof. They are finished with solar skirt, mounted on Van der Volk, and they feed down to our inverter using four, four core PV, PV Ultra. This property we have also, and we are still on with, a rewiring. So I'll show you, show you the garage. This is our garage. So meter is here. This is now, well, it's got two circuits out of it. Other than that, it is defunct. And this is our new DB. It's from Proteus. It's what we are using now as they do do bi-directional RCBOs as a standard long before Amendment 3 came out. And this is where our Libby assist system is going to sit. So we will have our inverter, two batteries, and two batteries here to make 20 kilowatt, 20 kilowatt hours with a five kilowatt inverter. And we'll be able to take some galve conduits down out of here and into our inverter. But one battery in, have a little sweep up down here, and then we can start to build the system on this wall. That is. 10 kilowatt hours of storage in and Libby's, Libby's stack on top of each other. And then at the top of each battery, there's a bracket that fixes it back to the wall so it's secure. So on top of our 10 kilowatt hours here, we will then have our five kilowatt hour inverter and then we'll have another 10 kilowatt hours over there to make 20 kilowatt hours of storage. But you can start to see how it goes together. And um, wondering, mainly my brother, I do do work. However, I can't film and work. It isn't Jason that does all the work. I do a lot of it though. He does some of it. Um, but yeah, I can't film and do work at the same time. Partly because I've lost the tripod from my phone. So um, maybe I should buy another one and then you can have some of me working as well instead of waffling onto you. You can start to see intake consumer unit and then Libby system here with our five kilowatt inverter. I'll show you how that goes then. A little bit of a progress update. So we have our supply coming out of our DB and down through our isolator and into our inverter. I'm going to hide the gem meter up there out of the way just because it's a bit ugly. We then have a supply coming down through and all of our comms for our Libby controller. And then our DCs are going to come down this 25 mil um, galve conduit and then into here. So we are using this as a hybrid inverter. But if I zoom you out a little bit more, it is looking very, very good. Jay is just about to start on all the battery cables. So from the inverter down to this battery, down to that battery, across to here, and then up into this one for our 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Um, and I'm just going to wire up the supplies to it and connect our gem meter. Like I say, we're hiding that up there out the way. We've even been able to get our CT on in the trunking and hide that up in the trunking as well, rather than down in. And don't forget, this has to come out. These need tidying up, which is a supply to it. That's all for another day. Um, it's part of the rewire. We've even still got the bonding to go in here to bond the gas pipe. And you'll see there's a little stab of galve over there as well to bond the water. This is our battery bit for now, and that is what we are focusing on in this video. Keep going, another hour and a half, and it should be on and commissioned, hopefully. Fingers there crossed. There we go then. That is it all done and dusted as battery only storage at the minute. So five, 10, 15, 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Our AC isolator here, and our Libby controller. And this is our supply DV. Our gem meter is just hidden up there out of the way. This 25 mil galve conduit and bit of flexi will take our DCs for the end of the week. Uh, that's part of the rewire. That is just to pick up the bonding and rebond this incoming water. And that's actually for our outside light. Um, but yeah, that is the battery storage all done. Um, just the roof to go. So 
Not bad for day one. It does look rather nice in there. But I do say so myself. It's nice to get to play with a bit of golf conduit every so often. Back into day two and we are now up on a roof. I was going to sing that. Fortunately for you, I'm not going to sing it and you'll see. We have made a start. Our panels are marked out. Here is our end. There is our bottom set of rail and Jason is working his way along, putting in the next set of rail. And there's two more sets of hooks and then we are ready for panels. There is 14 panels on this one. They are JA435 bifacials. They're going on the Van der Volk rail as always and they are getting finished off in solar skirt. And when we are finished, we'll be able to compare new solar to old solar. So I'll spin you around. I'll show you what we've got done on the roof so, so far. So far on the roof, we have obviously our end mark and then down here we have our center mark and then seven panels marked out and our bottom set of railing. And as you'll see, our tiles are ground out and then our rail have gone in again, torqued up with a torque driver as per manufacturers. Van der Volk is 15 Newton meters. So that is what they are. And then Jay has started getting the next set of hooks in. Once all these tiles are then ground and go back in, we can then repeat it. So we'll have two sets of rail in for our bottom set of panels. And then we have another set of rail in up there for our top set of panels. Pull up our cable from Doncaster Cables. It is four court PV Ultra. We're doing two strings of seven on this roof. Although it might not be, I need to go and check the data label for the Libby if we can get all 14 panels on one MPPT because there's also a flat roof. Might be coming back to put a flat roof system on it, we don't know yet. But get this done, get the rail on. There we go. Rinse and repeat as always. So we have actually made quite a bit of progress. All of our rails are now on and our PV Ultra, if I zoom in over there, look, comes out through a notch in the tile and we have our native for the top string and negative for the bottom string and then the same over there on that end we started bringing some panels up here comes Jason with another so I'll help him get that off of there and then we are ready for some panels on here in the morning morning third and final day on this one and I've got a couple of panels on what we tend to do is we kind of get three panels on and we start to adjust them so that we end up square on the roof. Now at the minute, I don't know how well the camera's going to show it, but these are running. These are running down the roof. So, God, Jay's just gone to grab a tape measure. We'll take a measurement to this dry ridge. Don't worry about these tiles, they are getting replaced. The scaffolders broke them, not us, but we'll replace them. The scaffolders are dropping some tiles off. Um, yeah, so we just spent sort of half an hour with the first three panels, just jigging them about, giving them a, a boogie and a shake to get them to get them square. So yeah, and then all the rest of the panels will then lay on quite nicely. Yeah, give them a measure. Although I've never been on a perfectly square roof yet, but give them a measure and then kind of just tweak it by eye. At the minute we've guessed it by eye and they're still not quite right. So. But, uh, there we go then, that is our bottom seven in and we did have a little bit of a play around with them but now we have that tile line in nice and straight and square and then it's nice and short on this roof I can actually just pass the panel over to Jay and we can work across the top so just nipping up the clamps just to say snug with the impact and then we will come back with a torque wrench and torque them all I believe without checking my memory serves me correct, it is 12 Newton meters for a VDV clamp. We can then cut the rails off. And then we have a damaged panel, which will be this one on the end at the bottom. And then we can solar skirt it, but we can actually solar skirt from this corner all the way around to there, into that corner and just leave that section off until our panels, well, our replacement panel turns up later so far. I have no complaints with how this one's going. Spent that time yesterday and lined all our panels up. So when you do look, they all sit at the same height. There is 
small step in it there, but we will take, uh, it will be that panel off and then we'll just adjust the clamp at the bottom, just lift it up slightly. But yeah, October, October's turning out to be probably the best month we've had for sun yet. It's been lovely. So yeah, another hour or two and we'll get these 14 panels generated. There's just over six kilowatt going on this roof with 14 panels, 435 bifacial panels. Bifacial means they haven't got a white back sheet so they can collect sun from both sides of the panel. Will it be beneficial on a tiled roof? The jury's out on that one for me. However, ground mount, it will be a game changer for ground mount and I have a ground mount to quote next week. So I'll probably quote bifacials on that one. Mid afternoon and we are now not far off finished. There, look, spin you around and I'll show you what the crack is. So I had to go out to uh, Edmondson's and pick a panel up as we had one damaged. Luckily they were able to get one for us, which will go in this space here. And as you'll notice from down here, I don't know if you can see actually, zoom right in, there's a couple of tiles missing. I've pinched tiles from under that panel to repair the damage we had here. So that is now all repaired, back watertight. We just have this panel to go on. And as you'll see, Jay has made a start putting the solar skirt on. So he's up to about, I think he's up to about here along the top. Get the solar skirt on. I'm just waiting for three tiles to come. The scaffolders that broke them are actually supplying them and dropping them off in about half an hour. So we can put then three tiles back under here. Reason we do it underneath the array is because it doesn't matter on the color. Obviously these tiles on here are now weathered and brand new tiles would stand out like a sore thumb if we were to fit them here where they're visible. So pinch them from under the array, repair the visible ones and put the new ones back under the array never to be seen again. But there we go. New solar, old solar, but this is under a fit system so leave that alone but it does look when you look at it like that we have definitely come a long way in the last 10 10 15 years haven't we my next job my next jobs then are while jay finishes off the solar skirt is to go and connect up the mc4 plugs in the garage and make off them ends at the minute the last plug is unplugged so i think in the garage is live i'm going to go make that off now that means it's then safe to plug the last panel in. We can then get the sea wood out, PV150. We can test both our strings. So there is two strings on this roof. The top seven panels are on one and the bottom seven panels are on another. We use four core PV Ultra for that. Perfect for this kind of job doing that. Um, but yeah, there goes the postman. Jay do that. I do the cable, put them tiles in put the last panel on, plug the strings in, test the strings, commission the solar, fly the drone, show you the finished product. So the PV is testing, I'm currently plugged into string one and that better come back. I have 375 watts per square meter of irradiance on the roof. I then take a test probe and hold it on a known earth and I press the test button and it will give me my short circuit current, my open string voltage, a radiant and an IR reading all in one go. So press that and there is the result for string one. I am now plugged into string two on the no and earth, press test and we have the readings for string two. So 351 watts per square meter of irradiance, an open string voltage of 262, and a short circuit current of 5.08 amps, and an IR reading of greater than 199 mega ohms. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 
and we'll go over why these numbers are important in the later video. Tested. I am back on the roof and Jay just has a little bit of soda skirt down there to go but I'm going to show you it because it looks mega. There we have it there. There is our 14 435 JA bifacial panels mounted on Van der Bolt. They're a bit good fingerprints and whatever but they are looking mwah, beautiful. Um, these tiles that were cracked have been replaced. It was them three and then they were actually pinched from under this panel um, so they've been replaced with some reclaimed ones who were actually red I couldn't get the same color so good job we put them underneath the array Jay just has this little bit of solar skirt to do and then because our strings are already tested we can plug them in turn it on and get the system generated it's been a nice one but new solar looks so much better than old solar can't tell you how good I think solar looks especially when we pair it up with solar skirt on a dark black tile like this. So there is our old solar on the house next door as you can see small silver and mono panels with silver frames lots of silver lines now looking rather dirty no bird protection on there we've actually if we look at this clamp here the tiles aren't even ground out on it but it's been there for about 15 years now and I doubt it'll ever change and then when we look at new solar, all black panels, Van der Volk, do like a Van der Volk system, as this gap here is only 10 mil. Everything else, Renusol or Clenergy, sort of maybe 20 mil. It looks a lot tidier, a lot cleaner. And then when it's finished off with solar skirt, it's kind of hard to deny. Solar has come a long way. But there we go. Another one ticked off just to plug in and get generating. So as always, if you would like something like this for your own house, this one has a My Energy Libby system on it. We can offer Give Energy, we can offer Tesla, we can offer Fox ESS, we can offer any kind of system you want. I know the Powerwall 3s are very popular at the minute. We actually have one coming up beginning of November with a Viridian in roof kit. We're really looking forward to that one. Obviously it'll be out here for you all to see. Our contact details are in the description below. Please do give us a ring, give us an email. We cover nationally and we can come and do the do.